Since the official release of the Codesys Automation Server in October 2019, we've been receiving a lot of positive feedback regarding our new IoT platform. This also includes different requests and constructive ideas for new functionalities and improvements, for example concerning the user interface for handling projects and applications. As the old user interface was split into two separate sections, it was not always easy to identify a project and its associated applications. The various tabs and tiles were not very intuitive to handle. Thanks to the valuable user feedback, we were able to improve the usability of the interface and tailor it to the needs of the Codesys community. With the latest update of the Codesys Automation Server to version 1.8, we fundamentally reworked the complete projects and applications section. We were able to achieve significant improvements in user friendliness and functionality, which we would like to introduce to you now. The new application section only contains one menu item now, Projects. It gives an overview of all projects and corresponding applications that are administered with the Codesys Automation Server. Thanks to new labels, application updates are visible at first sight now. The search field makes it possible to search for specific projects, which helps tremendously to stay on top of things. By selecting the respective commit message of a project, it is now possible to open any desired version from the project history locally in order to edit it with the Codesys development system. Furthermore, expanding a project instantly shows all applications included in the project. And again, it is also possible here to choose a specific version of the project. Clicking on an application opens its detail view. Here, the new deployment tab contains a variety of useful functionalities. First, all PLCs on which the application can be deployed on are displayed. In a next step, this list can be filtered by PLCs, tags or applications. Simply use the search field to find specific PLCs and tags or use the commit field to filter by PLCs on which no version of the application is deployed, any version of the application is deployed or a specific version of the application is deployed. Once the selection of PLCs is complete, only two clicks are needed to either deploy the selected version of the application on the desired PLCs, or to remove an already deployed application from the PLCs. The status of an application that runs on a PLC is displayed in the state column, running, stopped, stopped on breakpoint or unknown. In order to make sure that changes are actually applied, the synchronization state of each PLC is displayed next to it, as an icon with additional mouse over details. Of course, this video is only a foretaste of what the new features of the Codesys Automation Server actually have to offer. Visit the Codesys Store, create your own Codesys Automation Server account and dive into the Codesys IIoT world. Experience the Codesys Automation Server and see how you can benefit. And by the way, usage is currently free until the end of 2020.